Hello, I am Cordley NYE. This is uh, Unkole's Maka. We are looking at um, a Bubemonso, Father Bubemonso road project. Father Ebubemonso joining in the wind of Ebu, of uh, Akuluno uh, that is uh, raging in in the southeast of Nigeria, Ali in Anambra State in particular. This is a massive road project from Gota to Gota. And today you can see the the traditional ruler of the of the of the community going around to watch what is going on. It's marvelous. It's glorious. It's glorious. It's wonderful. We must appreciate the good. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share. Remember to comment. Father Bemoso doing over a kilometer of road from Gota to Gota. Yes, 
That's a bubemon so one touch. The Akuluno project in Unkwele is Naka of Oyi local government of Anambra State. The Akuluno project of a bubemon so father a bubemon so the charismatic uh, um, priest of the Catholic Church that has a strong ministry of uh, miracle signs and wonders. God has used him so much. And now he's... Um, sorry about the cut out. I am called the NYA, the son of uh, the wonderful... I'm bringing you the good news again. The Akuluno project, road project in Anambra State by Father Ebube. Father Ebube Monso of the Ebube Monso Ministry. Okay. This uh, project is in Nkwele uh, Zunaka, in Oyi local government of Anambra State. This is the the hometown or the home community of this great priest or great man of God. And he's building over a kilometer of road. Not just building anyhow, but he's using um, uh, RCC, um, a big construction company, to do this. And they are do doing a marvelous job. From gutter to gutter tide. And um, not only that, the, this road is estimated to last for more than 20 or 30 years. Because the standard is extraordinary. So the what you are witnessing is, sorry about the poor quality of this uh, video. But this is the traditional ruler of the... Community and some community members in you know, on inspection, and they were full of joy that this Akuluno project has finally come into their town. And they are urging all those people that are, are just building houses for themselves, not building roads, not doing any other thing, to also emulate these great priests to do the roads in Nkwele Znaka. And they were so, you know, happy. There was joy over this. Because this road was in a mess. Very dusty and very, very bad. That the people struggle to travel on it. Even motorcyclists cannot you know, move on it. You can see the construction company, ROCC. ROCC. This is a, not just anyhow construction company, but this is um, a massive uh, company being engaged for these projects. You know, they are 
one of the best. And they are going to do the best job here. Yeah, they are doing it already. The the Igwe in council is actually um, confirming it. So this is the, what is actually moving in Anambra State. Um, a lot of communities are actually um, being overwhelmed by the the commitment of the indigenous to change their communities, to change the narrative. That's what we are made of. Akuluno, once we start this, the homeland will surely be livable and prosperous. We have men and women of timber and caliber to do all those things. We don't need to wait for the government or the politicians to do it because the politicians only work with the uh, election cycle. And they will not do that much because of uh, being politicians and the limitations of money and the um, bureaucratic bottleneck. But in a community, indigenous can actually do most of the roles in their community. If they have party roles, the community people, up to 500 or 1,000 of them, can join hands and do all those roles in a year or two. So that's how things should be done. And the hospitals, water supply, everything. And that's what is happening in Anambra State. And some analyst says that before the end of 2024, more communities will actually commission a lot of roads. The governor will have his work cut out because he has to divide himself into many pieces in order to go from one community to the other to commission road projects. So that's the massive investment coming to the homeland. That's why the state is witnessing a lot of um, a lot of activities and uh, wealth being brought in into the state and the governor of the state is not doing bad either he's also doing some road projects and he's also encouraging the ppcp um uh, activity that's a colonial but it's called public private community partnership that's uh nasa so that's what you are witnessing and we are glad in this channel that this is happening because that's what we've been talking about. And we will not stop until our homeland become the envy of many. And if you are listening to this and you have not contributed anything, any damn in building the homeland, please. Go to your community and help out. Go to your community and help out. You can build the schools. You can build hospitals. You can help to uh, rehabilitate uh, the markets. Or you can make your local market to function again. That's what it should be. Akuluno Amalo Onyepalia. That's what it should be. So that's what we are asking many people to do. I urge you to help to change the narrative in our homeland. I am Cordly NYE, the son of the wonderful. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned as we continue to analyze this project. We can't, con we can't stop showing this project. We are happy that uh, Father Ibemonso is setting a good example on road projects. We know that he has done quite a lot on building hospitals, building schools. He has built many schools. He has done quite a, a lot. But now he is into road construction. Because without roads, 
the economy of the state will not be able to uh, go forward. Roads is the only means of transport in Anambra State. Unless the governor Soludo uh, do the rail, as he said he will, or get the um, river transportation going, because the state is also surrounded by water. A state can also uh, do that. So, with our rules, the economy of the state will stagnate. This is a traditional ruler. This is a traditional ruler. That's wonderful. He's speaking in uh, vernacular. He's talking about the road. So what do you think about this? What do you make about this? What is your take? What is your take? Akuluno, Amalo Epale. And you call my family or bar of you. Nebay, my man. Ibo Quen. Anibo, Gadema. Can you ga, can you do zeal, Bodani? Father Bubemonso, one touch. He's showing us that we need to build our homeland. Like the Jews. The Jews went home and built their homeland. We can also emulate them. We must build our homeland. Others in our community, uh, one person has built up to 16 roads. And they have built over 26, 26 roads in Adaziana. And they are planning of uh, uh, water supply. Putting water in the whole community. Neni is not left out. Neni, they let the, uh, Tony Mars did a lot of road projects in Neni. And Neni now is trying to put water, water supply, clean drinking water from house to house. Not just digging borehole and not distributing it from house to house. They have signed agreement and the work is ongoing. So many communities are beginning to do certain things. In Ozubu, there are many of the men and women of Timba trying to, uh, you know, building roads and other things. In Enugu, the same thing is happening. In the Nim, in in Nobi, he came back from Nobi. He's doing his own and others. There are many other communities. And there are some other communities that should be rising to the occasion also. I will not forget also to call out um, uh, the man from uh, um, the man from uh, Awolo, um, what's the name of that community in uh, Oka South? Awolo, something Awolo. He's building most of the road. They say that he's going to build all the roads. He started already in um, Awolo, I think. I've forgotten the community name, but it's in Oka South. I will not forget many of the um, indigenous of Oroku in Edemili that is uh, doing a lot of uh, projects in uh, Oroku. So these are things that we must Comment. These are things we must we must comment. You can't be building Dubai, building America, building Lagos, building Kaduna, leaving your homeland. The homeland must be built up, and this is a case study. This is an example, a good example by Father Ebibemon. So one touch. So this, um, we are going to say Ebibemon. So. Akuluno Road Projects ongoing. The Akuluno of Father Ibemonso at Uyi local government in Nkwele Zunaka. This is a massive project. We cannot, you know, 
We cannot underestimate this. It's marvelous. I am called the NYE. Um, this is where I will be rounding up this. Uh, this is the Father Ebemon Road project at um, Kweles Naka, you know, your local government. I see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe, remember to comment, remember to share. Bye.